that Cummins engine is awesome, but emission controls can really reduce life by throwing a lot of extra junk into the oil. There really is no other way to do it today than to put a bypass filter on that engine. And we're going to use the absolute best and extreme bypass oil filter. Here's a quick look at what comes in the kit and also this oil filler cap for an easy return. So looking at the engine, we're going to want to find the uh, pressure port and a uh, point of return. We're going to mount the filter right here in this area using the front bolts on the intake manifold and our bracket will fit right in here. First we'll remove this wire loom bracket. You can see we've already pulled the bolt out here and then it goes back on when you have the bracket in place. But first let's uh, get to this pressure port plug. To get there we're going to have to loosen this clamp on the air intake right behind the air filter. So we're going to loosen that up uh, I'm going to leave the wires on the sensors and just move uh, the air filter cover out of the way, but we're going to remove that other section. We have a few clamps to loosen here, and when we got it off, it looks something like that. And with the hose removed from this section, we uh, can now access the oil filter uh, pressure port. It's on top of the oil filter housing. Uh, on some models, we have to pry that hose back just a little bit, but on this one, the clamp is really just the only thing in the way. We're going to move that up out of the way and then break that loose. All right, so we're going to, after we've broken this loose, we're going to pull this fitting out. So it looks like that. And then we're going to take our fitting with Teflon tape on it that goes in there, and the other side will receive the hose. Let's go ahead and put that in and tighten it up. We're going to tighten the fitting in like that. And then when we're done, ready for the hose, it looks like that. Okay, here we've prepped the canister. First we took the frame bracket, or the universal bracket, and mounted it onto the filter and put it in a vise. And then we put a rag on it to keep it from scratching. And then we're going to put these fittings in. We put in the 90 degree angle and point them in the same direction for a vertical mount, such as a under the hood mount that we're going to do. And uh, the goal is to get those super tight and point it in the same direction. With an under the hood mount, we want to put the hoses on first and tighten them very tight because it's so hard to do once it's on the vehicle. So it looks like this. The longer hose goes on the in and the shorter one on the out. Then we're just going to put our air filter back together. Connect the line from the out port on the filter to the return line here on the oil filler cap. So there it is, nice installed. Fits under the front cover there. Got our intake manifold bolts holding the bracket on. And our lines are run. One up to the, the return to the oil filler cap. And then the other one around the front. Zip tie it in place. Down to the oil filter housing where we get our supply pressure. And that's really all there is to it. Now let's fire it up and see how she does. Woohoo! <laughs> so at this point, you're going to fire it up for a few seconds and check for leaks. If it's good, top off the oil and take it for a longer drive and then check for leaks one more time. And that's it. Love your truck. Keep that oil clean.